how to create stunning HTML email templates using bfree.io. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com, helping serious entrepreneurs like yourself to help grow your business by promoting your products and services more effectively. If you are a serious entrepreneur and you want consistent videos on how you can grow your business online, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, the subscribe button is down below. If you're serious, then subscribe. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a website called BeFree.io. You can use it for free to actually create really stunning HTML email templates. Now, this is not a promotional video. They're not paying me to put this out, but this is just a website that I stumbled across and thought it was really easy and simple to use. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So as you can see, I'm actually on BeFree.io now. I'll also leave a link to it in the description down below and also somewhere in the cards as well so i'm going to actually log in and as you can see it says log in to be to be pro so as i mentioned you can have a free account or you can also have a pro account they have free templates that you can utilize so if you just want to trial it out then you can trial it out they're free uh, 15 day trial as well so if you wanted to use some of the pro templates test it out for 15 days if you like it then become a pro member so i'm going to log in and when you log in, you can see the projects that you've been working on. So this is one project that I was working on. You can also see templates in the templates tab. And these are a few templates that I've been working on as well. But I want to actually create a new template. So I'm going to click on this button here. And as you can see, all of the templates come down here. Now, when you actually have your account and you sign up for a B3 uh, account, you're going to see the, the pro templates, which you have to pay for. And you're going to also be able to select the free templates as well. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But the, one, the things that I really like about uh, this is the fact that you can filter um, what templates you want to see. So depending on what industry you're in or what you're trying to create an email for, you can really narrow it down. So let's say, for example, you are having a product launch. You can click the product launch tab there and you can see the different templates that are specifically designed for a product launch. And you can choose the one that kind of best suits what you're trying to achieve and then click on it. So I'm going to choose this one and you literally hover over it and click uh, use this template. Uh, before I click onto that, uh, one thing to mention as well is you can also filter by industry. So if you wanted to, to, to find one that was industry specific, then you can come up here and you can find one there and you can also search uh, on what specifically you're looking for as well. And then you can filter it by tag as well. So it makes it really simple for you to find a template that is kind of useful for you. So I'm going to click use this template so I can give you an example of how to utilize b3.io and kind of give you a mini tutorial just in case you're stuck on any of the elements. So this is what it looks like. And um, as you can see, when you hover over any element, it gives you options to actually edit it. So I'm going to hover over this logo here and you can see that it, if I click on it, you can see that I can actually bin it so I can get rid of it completely. I can duplicate it. So if I click this duplicate button, it duplicates that element. Um, I'm going to delete that one and you can also drag it. So this little uh, icon here allows you to drag this so you can place it. For example, if you wanted it underneath the text, then you could place it underneath the text. And you will notice that when I dragged it, there's no content here. So I can drag a new content here if I wanted to. So I'm going to come to that in a second. But let's say, for example, I wanted to change this logo and make it my own logo. I can actually delete that and then go to content and I can drag my image content onto this new, this note where it says no content here. So now there's content there. But instead of pressing the browse feature, because I find the browse feature uh, to be a little bit difficult to use on b3.io, I'm actually going to drag my file to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, find the file. And I'm going to drag the file. And as you can see, it adds itself to b3.io. So I find that it to be easier when you drag files rather than try to upload them um, in a different way. 
So also when you when you're on b3.io and you notice um, on any of these panels here, you can actually move the whole entire panel. So if you if you click on the actual item itself, then you can move the item or you can drag the whole entire panel with this toggle here and you can move it up and down depending on where you want it to be. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. Um, another thing to keep in mind is change in text. So as you can see, this is default text that's already there. And if I click on this, then I can actually edit this text and make it say whatever I want it to say. Um, uh, let's say here I am. And when I click on it, I can actually change the text uh, color as well. So if I wanted it to be blue, I can make that blue. Um, I can also change the padding. So if I wanted it to be a little bit closer up, then I can do that as well. So there's a lot of elements you can do. And I can actually have um, text of my own. If I click content again and drag text down here, let's say I wanted to add a little bit of a slogan to my logo, I can drag it there and I can put um, not just any other product let's say that was my logo so i can add that text there i can use these um th these kind of icons here to edit my text so if i wanted it to be centered then i can center it if i wanted it to be to the right i can make it to the right um, i can bold it italicize it i can underline it um, i can also change the font to be whatever i wanted it to be and i can also um, make it bigger if I wanted it to make it a little bit bigger as well. So that's one thing to add to, to note as well is changing text. You just click on it and then these icons come up there as well. You can add bullet points if you want to. Um, maybe you wanted to add kind of more of a, of a paragraph style content and then have bullet points. And you can do that as well if you wanted to. So let's look at some other forms of content you can add. So you can also um, we've spoken about dragging images, so you can drag an image anywhere you want uh, on, onto b3.io. And when you drag an image, another important thing to note is that this auto width might be on. So that it, it might mean that you can't change the size of the image. But what you want to do is make sure that this is off if you want to change manually the size of the image. And then you can actually make it smaller, make it larger. Um, and do what you want to that image. If you want it to be um, kind of aligned differently as well, then you can change the alignment. You can make it go to the left, you can make it go to the right, or you can keep it centered. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. If you want to change the size or the alignment of your images, going back to content, you might want to add a button. So if you want to have a call to action and tell people where they can buy this product, whatever it is, but you're trying to send them to, then you can add your button by again, dragging it wherever you want it to be. And then when you click on the button, you can add your URL. So it's really important to make sure that you add your URL here. Don't forget that because when you're sending your email out, you actually want people to buy. And if you don't have your link or if you forget to use your link, then that could really impact your conversion rate. So make sure you have your link there. Make sure it's a working link that you paste there. And you can change your color of your button as well. So whatever color you wanted the button to be. And similarly, you know, your, your alignment, as we've changed with images as well, most of these features are the same. So however you want it to look, just play about with it. And again, if you want to change what the button says, just click on it. And then you can, you can literally make the button say whatever you want it to say. So I'm going to make it say click here. And you can change also the font, you can change the size and you can make it bold. So again, you know, go to town, make sure that your call to action is, you know, really prominent and people understand and know where it is that you want them to do. So let's look at some other forms of content. You also have a divider. So this is good. Let's say, for example, um, you wanted uh, this bottom to be a little bit further away from this read more button you can add a divider so i can bring that and drag that here so it creates more of a space and you might see that there's a little bit of a line there and i might not want that line to be there so if i click on it i can click on this color button and make it transparent by clicking on that and the line is gone now and i can add as many dividers as possible if i wanted it to be even further apart 
then I can add another one as well and just keep on going really until I'm satisfied. Um, another feature is the social icons feature. Again, I can drag this down. And then when I click on this social media icon, um, it shows me all of the different icons and the links. So obviously you want to change these to be your actual Facebook links, your Twitter link, your Instagram link, your LinkedIn link, and you can add a new icon as well. So if you have, for example, a YouTube channel, you can click that and add your YouTube channel link um, and any other links that are applicable to you. You can also add your social share links and you can add other icons as well um, if you wanted to. So that's an important thing to note. Going back to content again, you can add HTML. So if you wanted to add your own H custom HTML to this template, then you can do that as well. You can also add video as well. I don't tend to add video within the email. I tend to just link out to a video if I'm trying to send someone to a video, but you might want to add a video and that's perfectly fine. You can do that by literally just dragging the video option into your template as well. So I want the lastly, I want to speak about adding a row as well. So you might want to add a complete row. You would click on rows and then you would click on empty and you can literally click on any one you want and drag it onto your template. So this is just a full row here that I've, I've added. And then when you go to content, whatever you want that full row to be, if you wanted it to be um, an image, then you can just bring it here and drag it there and then bring your image in. But you might want to add a row that is kind of have two pieces of content beside each other. One that's smaller, one that's larger, as you can see here. And you can drag that there. Maybe you wanted to add an image in the smaller section and text. And you might add your image and your text and realize, wait, the image is too small. So you can go down to this one and this one has a slightly larger first um, icon and then it has a, so uh, yeah, and then it has a, a even larger uh, text one. So you might want to drag that on um, and that might fit a little bit better for you when you add your image and your text. And it has two here that are the same. So maybe you wanted two images beside each other and you wanted to add two image icons. So you can do that if you wanted to. So maybe you wanted to do that. And yeah, so there's, there's many different combinations as well. You can have the, the long icon before you have the small one. You can have, um, three different ones there. You can have, two and then one so you can really just decide whatever it is that you want to add whatever features that you wanted to display then you can go to town and really make this your own i know here it looks a little bit messy but you know just to kind of show you what the different icons do and i want to show you an example of one that i have created as well so this is an example of an email that i have actually constructed inside of b3.io um, once you've finished your 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 work, then you want to click on save. And then once you've saved it, then it will look something like this. And um, what I find found as well is you want to save it and name it because if you want to actually go back over it um, again and edit it or find it, then it's good to save it uh, of something that you're going to remember it by. So make sure you save it and make sure you tag it as well. So I'm going to save this as test. And I'm going to tag it as test video. And then you can add a description if you like. And then when you click save, it gives you the options now to edit. So you can come back and edit it whenever you want. So you're obviously going to make sure that you save it often so you don't lose any pieces of work. So when you've actually finished, let's say that you've gone through this and you are happy with it and you want to actually now export it. I'm going to click save. And then it will take me to here so I can edit my template if I want. I can create a copy and I've named it my new test. So I'm going to go to uh, projects and I'm going to go to create new project and I'm going to name this project test video one and I'm going to click on done. So I'm going to open the project that I've just created. And I'm going to click on create a new message and go to my templates. So I can click on the template that I want to. So this is the one we've been working on in this video. So I'm going to use this template 
And the good thing about creating the template first before you create the message is that you always have that template if you want to create a similar email, but maybe just change a few words here or there. So I find it really simple to do that. Um, and then once you're happy with it, then you can click save and then you can again make sure all of these icons are saved so you remember where it is and you know how you can easily find it. And then when you click save again, you will see this export message option so you can um, you can export it. You can also send a test email to yourself. So I recommend that you do that because there might be spelling mistakes or you want to know how it looks on your mobile phone before you actually export it. So, you know, make sure you send yourself a little test email. Um, so literally, if you click on test, you can put your email in there and then send it to yourself and then you can see how it looks. Um, and then export options, you can download as a PDF. So you can see how it looks in PDF form. Um, when I'm sending this as a solo ad to another provider, so someone who has an email list, I make sure I send them the PDF version as well so they know how it's supposed to look. So when they import it into their uh, software, if it doesn't look like that, then they can um, email me back and say, hey, look, there's a little bit of an issue. So make sure that you send them that as well so they know what it should look like. You can export to another application. So as I mentioned, you can export it to Aweber, to MailChimp, to whatever, whatever application you want to export it to. So that's what that option is all about. You can keep images online and create a code. So if you click on that, it gives you this code and you can copy the HTML. Now, when you copy this, you make you want to make sure that you put it in a TXT file and save it rather than in a Word document. Because if you put it in a Word document, then it's going to jumble up the HTML and it's not going to work when you input it into your email marketing software or when you send it off uh, to somebody else's email marketing software. So make sure you save it to a TXT file. So I'm going to literally minimize this, go to search and txt so your text file should look something like this um, if you have a mac if you have a pc it's going to look slightly different but you want to paste it in there so this is going to be your code and you want to file and save that like it is and that should make sure that when it's saved that it doesn't change any of the code and alter the code if you're saving it to a Word document file, then that might alter and change the code. And it's not going to look the same when you actually import it into your email marketing software. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, you can also get images and download. So the last option is to download it as a zip file. Um, so if you're using MailChimp, for example, and you select this, then MailChimp have an option for you to just upload the entire zip file um, rather than going through any of the code, the difficult code, and that makes it really simple for you. If you're using Aweber, however, then you're going to have to um, do this, which I mentioned, which was copy the code and then actually use that code in Aweber. So um, depending on what software you're using is going to depend how you use this and what features, but there's so many different features to export it that you should find one that really works for you. So I really hope this video brought you value. If you are using bfree.io, then that probably indicates that you have an email list or you're at least thinking about starting an email list. And um, if you if you are, then I highly recommend you download my formula, which you see behind me. This is the free guide to generating leads and sales online. And it's absolutely free. It should be somewhere on the screen. I'll also leave it somewhere in the description down below as well. So make Make sure you go and click that link and download it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then I speak about online marketing and everything business on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video as well. But it's for serious entrepreneurs only. That is my stipulation. I also would love to hear from you in the comment section. Was this video helpful? Do you want me to put out more videos like this? And I also want to know, like, what email marketing software are you guys using? So I can do some tutorials on those specific email marketing softwares and really bring you value and give you the content that's really going to matter to you. But if this video did help you out, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.